I am a blues rock soul singer. I had a lot of uh, early influences, uh, everyone from Led Zeppelin, Big Mama Thornton, Otis Redding, to people like Maria Callas, just real powerhouses. My advice would be just to do it because you love it. Um, pretty important right now. I mean, I'm still sort of at the beginning phases of putting together uh, a hardcore fan base, but from, you know, just learning from other bands and uh, artists, it's, it's important to have that. I think, uh, you know, I, music moves me on a daily basis. It's sort of, um, you know, soundtrack to what I do every day. And I always, since I was young, could, whether it would be like skiing or uh, running or school, I always heard music in the background and sort of put together my own little soundtrack. So, and it still does that today. I do, I listen to um, the radio in the car. I only listen to the regular radio in the car. And then I also listen to um, Sirius and just from, from being around in, uh, in music, you know, just word of mouth from um, different friends and band members. Otis Redding. <laughs> So that to be a uh, now day. Uh, I'd like to do something with Robert Plant. Actually, this year uh, when I was watching it, you know, the whole "We Take Care of Our Own," and I really um, I know that resonated with me because I think that's really important, and especially in such a competitive world where everyone wants to be the next big thing, the next new thing, you know, throw anybody out of the way to get there, um, to have a network of people that you can fall back on and that you know are there is really important and I think that I saw that especially this year during the Grammys.